welcome to month of biz love day i think it's day eight <laughs> today we are going to talk about finding the fun in your business welcome to month of biz love i'm tara Spiker. i hope makers and artists feel awesome about their business and one of the ways i do that is through this 30 day challenge to fall more in love with your handmade business so the month of biz love has three parts the first part is the workbook that you can find at tarasweiger.com slash month of biz love. It is going to help you answer these individual challenges. I've put the challenges there and I've given you um, ideas of what you could post on Instagram to take part in the challenge as a community. So the second part of the challenge is on Instagram. I post a challenge each day and you post your answer. Use the hashtag month of biz love that way your photos will show up with all the others in the challenges and you can click through on that hashtag and get to know more people uh, and what they're sharing for their month of biz love and then the third part is this daily video lessons from may 25th to june 24th we're doing 30 days of video lessons on how to love your business more so what i want to talk to you about today is fun framing and that is a uh, a thing that uh, sociologists have studied where you take something that's not fun and you reframe it into something that is fun. And there are all these studies that show you are more likely to do something and it takes less willpower to do something you've reframed as fun. So I read that and I thought, oh my goodness, we can totally apply this to your business in a couple ways. The first way is this. I want you to think about what is fun in your business now. Because here's the key. You're going to be less it's gonna take less willpower and you're going to be more motivated to work on something you find fun than things you don't find fun. That's obvious, right? That seems super obvious to me. And yet we forget, we go to our studio or our office and we start working and we forget about making it fun or finding the fun that's already there. So the first way to find the fun is ask yourself, what's already fun in my business? What do I enjoy doing and do I find fun? make a list of it. And again, this question's in your workbook. You can write it down there. And the workbook's at taraswiger.com slash month of biz love, along with links to everything else you need, like Instagram and YouTube. So what do I, you find fun in your business right now? The second thing is to reframe the unfun stuff. Because let's face it, you have to do unfun stuff too. Even when you're fully self-employed and you're your only boss, you still have to do the stuff that's not that much fun. And the key to doing that without losing your motivation or using up all your willpower or making it a total drag is to reframe it. And the easiest way I've found to reframe this is to ask yourself the question, what's fun about this? Another way to ask the question is, what is the easy way to do this? Or what is the most uh, way to do this with the most enthusiasm? I tried this out a couple days ago as I was writing up Month of Biz Love and I was surprised to find something I really didn't want to do. I asked myself the question, what's fun about this? And my brain said, nothing, nothing's fun about this at all. So then I asked, what's the easy way to do this? And I realized that part of what I was dreading was all these internal expectations about how blah it was going to be and how long it was going to take and what a slog it was going to be. And when I said, how could I do this? Or what is easy about this? Or how could I do this in the most easy way possible? I came up with a solution that like made it not take that long. Part of it was just my own expectations about how long it was gonna take. So I said, maybe this could go quickly. The easiest way this could go happen is, the easiest way for this to happen is for it to go quickly, for it to be not a struggle, for the like words I'm working on for this project just to flow. And it happened. Now, another way, to reframe it is if there's nothing fun about this, then you ask yourself, how could I make it more fun? So we've looked at the things that are fun in your business. Then we've asked, what is the fun thing about this to help you find the thing that's already fun that's buried in it? And if you can't find anything, you can always ask yourself, and even if it is fun to begin with, how can I make it more fun? Or one of my favorite questions, how can I make, uh, how would I be more enthusiastic about this? What would this have to entail for me to be more enthusiastic about it? And what Heidi just said on Periscope is the way to make it more fun is uh, the stereo, like the radio and wine. So that's funny because that is one of my answers to the question of how do I make something more fun is to put on a playlist that I like or to get something like special or fancy to have either with it or after it. So a lot of times after I do something really hard at work, I get a fancy coffee. 
right? Uh, JC says her idea is Netflix. I love that. If you're doing the kind of work that you can Netflix during. So if I have to do like um, packing up a lot of books or uh, taping a lot of shipping labels down, I don't know why, but that's something I always dread and put off. Exactly. And Netflix, something like uh, Gilmore Girls or Friends or um, Empire or Scandal <laughs> so that it's so that I'm like fully engaged in something else. Obviously, if you need to pay attention, like you're doing your taxes or your writing, you probably can't Netflix, but you can play a playlist. So I have a playlist called Happy Sparkly, and I listen to it whenever I need to make something more fun. In fact, right before I made this video, I was slightly grumpy about something totally unrelated, and I thought like, well, I don't want to start the video grumpy. <laughs> I need to be in a slightly more fun place. I realized what I was talking about today, and I had the perfect chance to try it out on myself. What would make this more fun? Oh, I know. If I, um, A, drink a big glass of water because I was feeling dehydrated, which was why I was grumpy, and B, listen to my Happy Sparkly playlist. So I danced out here on the deck for a couple minutes to uh, Beach Boys, and it's more fun. I was in a better mood. Now, not everything uh, can you just lift your spirits that quickly, but it certainly doesn't hurt to try. If you're working on a project that is a dull Put on something that's not dull. Put on a playlist, put on Netflix, um, get yourself a fancy treat for afterwards. Um, whatever it takes to make it more fun. And what I always forget is you can do this endlessly. You can do this again and again. You can create playlists that are fun for different things. You can do work in more fun places. Like sometimes I change up my coffee shop and I go to this other coffee shop, which adds a new layer of wonderfulness. Um, or I co-work with people, or I work by myself, or I will go out to lunch instead of just like eating a sandwich at home. Something to make the work day more fun. And especially if I'm in the middle of a project that's a drag. So I want you guys to think about that. First, what's already fun in your business and get excited about the things that are fun in your business. Recognize that they're fun when you're doing them. Once your hobby becomes your job, it's really easy for it to totally not be fun anymore. I get that, I did that with my handmade yarn company. But if you do still enjoy doing what you're doing, recognize that. And then look for what's fun embedded in what you're working on at every turn. Fun or enthusiastic or exciting or just um, easy. And then also, if something does not have fun embedded in it, ask yourself, how can I make this more fun? Another question for you, sometimes you're not in the mood to have fun. Sometimes I feel like fun is kind of exhausting. So instead I ask myself, how can I make this more easy? What is the way to do this that's easy as opposed to hard? And there's not always like, there's no way to make it completely easy, but a lot of times there's ways to make it easier or less stressful or a little more peaceful. So that is your challenge for today. Find the fun in your business. You can answer this challenge by telling us on Instagram what is fun in your business or what do you do to make unfun tasks more fun. Share the fun, get ideas from each other. On Periscope they said these are good ideas, but I wanna hear your own ideas. I'm sure you guys have great ideas for making things more fun. That's not just music and Netflix. Those are my favorites. You guys tell me what your favorites are. Use the hashtag month of biz love on Instagram. I'll be watching and hearting and being very excited to get your fun ideas. So thank you so much and have a very fun, enthusiastic, loving day.